and everybody on YouTube, all my friends and subscribers, and to anybody new to my channel. What I'm making here is a steel plate target stand. And the reason I'm doing that is because I tried to do a shortcut. I made a shepherd's hook out of a piece of rebar, went out to the farm, hung my steel plate from it, and took my first shot at it, and it was a major failure. I hit the target dead center, but when I hit it, it spun the rebar and the target around, so I stopped videotaping. I says, you know what, that's not safe. Let's not do stupid things. So I said I was going to make better videos this year and uh, stay in more contact with everybody. So I says, you know what, I want to have fun like everybody else and shoot at steel plate targets, but I got to do it the right way. And I saw Gil over here on, on YouTube, whose channel is Hard Target. He did a video talking about how people do a lot of stupid things with steel plate targets by hanging them from chains or ropes or not setting it up properly and having the plates of all kinds of different types swinging back and forth and up and down. Good chance of catching a ricochet. I says, you know what? I don't need that to happen to me, so I'm going to look for a steel plate target stand. And... Uh, like the Punisher faceplate steel target that I got off of eBay for only $20. I was back there on eBay and I found another guy who's in my state of Wisconsin. And he's been on eBay for quite a while. His channel, uh, or his eBay page is AR500 Target Solutions. And he's got the web page and it's AR500 Target Solutions.com. He makes different types of stands, different types of targets, all reasonably priced. This is the uh, spike target stand. This is your ground piece. And then your hanging target cap. And my two by four right in the center. That cost me $45 plus tax. And uh, it only took four days to get. So uh, what I plan on doing right here right now is putting this thing together to show you how I'm going to be a safe steel plate target shooter. So. I hope you stay with me while I assemble this. So let me get right to it. I'm going to take this over here. I got a spot picked out. And then we're going to set this thing up and show you the results. Okay, coming over. So there you have it. I hope you stuck with me. Now, this is leaning a little bit, and that's only because the ground is soft. The guy who made the stand suggests you screw in the 2x4 to the cap and to the base. And also, when shooting at steel plate targets with uh, semi automatic pistols or any kind of pistol, recommended distance from the target is 12 yards or greater. With the rifle, 150 yards. Or 125. Don't use steel core targets, or, uh, steel core bullets, or armor piercing bullets. I'm going to use uh, fragmented rounds, any type of hollow point. So I hope you stick with me through the assembly and uh, please leave your comments, positive or negative. I'll respond to your comments 
as I when I see them. And then uh, if you think you might like the video, throw me a, a thumbs up because I always appreciate that. And if you're new to my channel, you just happen to stumble across it, and you think after you've seen this you want you might want to be a subscriber. Please hit the subscription button down below because I can always appreciate new subscribers. Always great meeting new people. To everybody out there, always think smart while you're shooting. Safety is always a mandatory priority. And think smart, be safe, shoot straight, enjoy yourself shooting. And this thing is leaning so uh, really soft ground right now. So I'm going to hang on to it and uh, take care of yourselves. All right, we'll talk to you all later.